Uh, Sean's got my, my a little trail repair for me. Yeah, there we go. It's all fixed. You can't even tell there's damage. I mean, and, and what? That's what, 10 horsepower? I mean, it's definitely more aerodynamic now. Oh, heck we yeah. It's it almost out. like having a Hemi. Almost. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Ozark Overland Adventures. My name is Matt. I trashed my bed of my Gladiator yesterday on Cliffhanger, and today we are doing the trifecta, which is uh, three trails. Uh, this is my friend Sean from the story till now. What's up, down here Came from all the Canada? Way down from Canada. Brought the cold weather with Man, me. Man, my lens is so dirty. I don't. I don't take care of my equipment <laughs> at all. <laughs> Do you want your camera back now? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate it. Are you ready? I am ready. I just am putting some of the recovery gear back. I had them in my drawer from yesterday whenever we were out willing with Rob and Sean and oh, had to help with Rob. When you and Rob got stuck? Yeah, we got turtled. Well, we're just waiting on Sean to air down his uh, big old 40 inch tires on the Trail Destroyer. And we've got uh, all of us and Sean and, and Rob's joining us. Um, not in a Toyota. So we think Rob's gonna be able to make it through the trail just fine. No, no broken down Toyotas this time. <laughs> Although he did get he did get stuck yesterday in the Jeep. And, I, and he did say that there's a technique that Toyotas do that Jeeps don't. Traction what, boards? What was that called? What was that? Rock stacking? Rock stacking. Oh, rock stacking. Right. Basically, oh, I, I don't oh. think any Jeep in this group can talk about rock stacking. <laughs> <laughs> Not after yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> we were stacking some rocks. One guy okay. came back and said, are y'all engineers? <laughs> That's true. Uh, if, you, if you haven't seen... This is actually Rob's wife's Wrangler. Um, it's got 35 inch tires on it. That's about all he's done to it. But the most important modification that he brought with him is the baby seat. The only reason that's in there is because that is the hardest baby seat to get what? out. What is this, like a Jetson space capsule thing? They have changed a lot in the now 16 years since I've had a baby. I can figure out how to take it out. Wow. That's why I stayed. <laughs> Also, for anybody who gets behind Rob and he's making a turn, it has these fancy turn signals. Oh, it's he's... like, I am turning left. Oh, I he's... am turning left. Wow, Rob's getting kind of jeepal on us. <laughs> that was, that was, it came with it, and my wife wouldn't let me take it off. <laughs> I got it. Rob's getting trail ready. Yeah. Getting his teeth brushed. Oh, it's, really, it's really important on the trail. All right, it's time to roll out. My, my jeep. Is... Yep, sounds good. Uh, my Jeep is dripping because we got snow last night. I think it's all gone now. But we're out of here. Rob, if you need any help with uh, with the Jeep things like disconnecting the sway bar and engaging the lockers, four low, let us know. We got you. Could you fix my steering and suspension and the, the weird electrical thing that's going on with the radio? <laughs> nope, that's no, just Jeep things. Well, I'm with you, man. I'm a Toyota guy, too, so uh, they've been giving me a hard time about Toyotas my whole life. Hey, the Jeeps definitely have a time and a place, and usually it's the mechanic's shop at 9 a.m. Just a reminder for everybody to check in if you're doing your uh, the badge of honor. Rob doesn't know what that is. I'm super excited we're out here doing this, guys. Let's have some fun.
this is my favorite trail out here. It, it used to be cliffhanger until yesterday, but this is this is officially my favorite. Four low, lock the rear, stay a little more driver than she did. Okay. And don't let off the throttle like she did. Okay. Even though Sean's right in front of me? Yeah, he'll move. <laughs> that obstacle's always a lot of fun and Looks way worse than it actually is. There's so much grip on this stuff. You're done, Rob. Just give it some gas. Now Robert's doing what John did, what James did. Hard driver, Robert. Lock everything and go up. There you go. at the very top. I didn't have my lockers on. A little more passenger. There you go. Now straight up. 
Poison Spider is always a blast. If you have a stock rig and you want to push yourself, do Poison Spider. Um, you know, Rob's Jeep is stock except for 35 inch tires. It's stock suspension and you know, he struggled a little bit in one little area but a different line, no issues. But it, if you've got a stock rig and you want to push yourself on a little bit harder trail, Poison Spider is awesome. I think it's a great choice. All right, Rob. And your wife's Jeep, how's it doing? It's doing well. Should I not be vlogging as well? Okay. Yeah, you can do vlogging too. Okay. You can have a whole back and forth no, it's conversation doing, vlog It's style. doing well. It's, uh, I think we're pushing the limits of what a stock height Jeep Rubicon can do. Yep. It's made it through everything, but it is dragging a lot. Yep. I really like these obstacles because they are, they're just, just technical enough to be challenging, but, but you're not going to risk Yeah, they're not like super here. high concept. You're not going to yeah. smash your recorder yeah. panel. Nothing too off like camber. Yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, okay. I gave you the band aid, dude. I know. And it's, you're man, it's, it's holding together. Yeah. It's doing great. Yeah, your bed hasn't fallen off. I know. And it's all because of the band aid. Okay, I'd say it's just another drain point for all that snow that was in there. That's true. And the view's right here. They just don't quit. Look at the snow in the background and the fins. Well, that's the fins have snow on top of them. That's awesome! Holy cow, that view. Whoa. Well, that's pretty much the last major obstacle on this section of Poison Spider. And then from here we've got uh, fast, whoopy sections and rough terrain. <laughs> Turn driver, there you go. That's perfect, hold that. Hold that right there. Hold that, there you go, perfect. Back tire's where it should needs to be. Excellent. Yes, sir. Okay, so what I meant was, we're not quite done with the harder stuff, but almost. We're, we're almost to the flat, the fast, bumpy stuff. Look at the view. Holy 
cow, that'd be Golden Spike begins and we leave Poison Spike. And the train gets wait. Oh, you guys didn't tell me you get your drones out. So Rob, would you still take the tundra up this? But you said that you were gonna take the tundra up? Probably not. stopping for lunch at this incredible spot look at this 360 degrees you didn't turn off your GoPro I never turn off the GoPro oh man I always have all these cards full of footage of my truck parked <laughs> <laughs> YouTuber problem for real oh my gosh this this is one of the reasons why I love this trail so much it is just incredible what are you thinking for what? This. Oh, what am I thinking about this? Yeah, what do you think? This is amazing. Look at it. I could just like take a nap here. <laughs> you pretty much could. <laughs> I think that's what, uh, I think that's where Rob's going. Yeah. He's, he's going you down. You a nap, Rob? Yeah. Sweet. We've made it to the launching pad, which is looks just insane here on camera and in person, but it's really not horrible. All right, going down. Tell me what your pitch is at. Only 27 dropping in. Looks sketchier than 27. Here we go. I remember right. I think it gets up to about 35 or 36 coming out. <laughs> Woo! Yep, 35 degrees. see how steep this is when you look straight down. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's steep. Yeah, man. <laughs> How'd you like that one? I didn't even squeal. No, not even a squeal. Nope. From your tires or your or your mouth. Nope. It wasn't bad at all. That one is fun. It just looks once you're down in there and then you're looking up. Oh, it just it gets you. But it just 
it's easy. Blind descents are nerve wracking. There we go. Now we're lined up. Oh, I forgot about this one. Is that a flag up there on the That'll shift all your gear around. Yeah, I think all my stuff just fell off the seat. <laughs> Mine did too. This is called Skyline Drive Summit. And uh, I don't think uh, Onyx says that on their map, but the guy Overland Layer does. Not too much on my pitch right now. I'm about 22, 20 ish degrees. Um, but it looks like I'm just kind of going into the sky. This is really cool. There's the flag. There's nothing quite like being straight up a rock face. Makes you feel teeny tiny, doesn't it? More concerned about going down. Oh, yeah, look flag. at the flag. If you don't, you don't care for this flag. <laughs> this I mean, is the this is the flag of our rebellion against you. <laughs> you say anything? Yeah. Retired and replaced 31023. Apparently, they retire and replace the flag up here because it gets so torn. And this is who does it. So this is David Netherland. Sergeant First Class, Ron Johnson, retired, 82nd Airborne. Going down. How many YouTubers does it take to film Kara coming over the ledge? Do I want to put my tire on that? You can. What's on my right though? 
A drop off? Oh, no. You're fine. I don't want to go weedy that way. If we had a couple more cameras, we could do one of those cool 360 kind of things. Yeah, like how they did the bullet time in the Matrix. Right. All right, turn driver. Just a gentle, just a gen gentle yeah, scraping. Not, so not bad at all. Making it look easy, Rod. You don't need no bypass. Yeah, I thought that scraped a long way. I know bypass are for British people. Mm. But <laughs> he's used to being in a Toyota. Hundred could do this no problem, right? <laughs> John doesn't waste time. He ain't got time for going slow. I want to be here when there's water flowing through those little, I'm struggling. little thingies. Look. You're undercut a little bit. You need to go more driver. We are now in my favorite section of this trail. Down here in this little ravine or canyon, whatever it's called. It's just so cool. You got to go through the pool of water. That's cool. And it wets your tires. It's like a little <laughs> added challenge. Woo! Going for a little swim. Yeah. You gonna try to climb it straight? Yep. Do it.
Plexi. Uh, bigger lift in 37, eights. on your control arm on the right rear. Three hours later. All right, we're pulling cable. We're gonna pull cable. We're gonna pull cable. John's going to try to take care of his line. James just could not let it go. He had to take up the easy line. I hadn't done this obstacle in two years since we got here last time. I know you didn't do it then either. <laughs> well, <I did. laughs> Come on, you got this. You and your little BFGs. I believe in you, James. Boom! There he goes. Nice. All right, he's reclaimed his manhood. You got to show. You got to show the second one, not the first one. Well then, no, no, they're all going in. Okay, that's all right. Embarrassment is a powerful motivator. There you go. I would love to be here when there's water flowing through this. I'm guessing if there's water flowing through this, this is very unsafe through here. So. It will probably never happen. God, look at this. Sadly, we need to press on and leave my favorite portion of this trail. See, that obstacle was so much fun, I had to do it twice. Kind of jealous that you got to try every line possible. Do you, do you need me to get you off of this rock? I have a situation. You're, you're spinning, but you're not going nowhere. I got a turtle. Turtle? Turtle. Turtle? Are you a turtle man? Are you a member of the turtle club? Yeah. Oh, hello, little turtle. Yeah, I kind of stuck on my shelf. Me and Rob know how the turtles feel. Most important thing is that we're all here to document it. Yes. And to comfort you in your time of need. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, forward. Okay. Oh, there we go. There you go. At least it was my wife winching and not one of them. Well, that was slightly embarrassing. Look at that. Right under her Jeep. That's the hole I fell into because I didn't see it. Not 
Passenger. You mean driver. Driver. <laughs> I, was I was wondering about that spy. My passenger. <laughs> he was speaking in British terms. I've been it's... hanging around with Rob for a couple of days. Sorry. British passenger. Gonna start using that. <laughs> Poor British passenger. <laughs> as soon as I start using Celsius and kilometers. Right. How does it feel to do it when Matt didn't? Oh, I'm used to that kind of life. Um, so just hang around. I'll, I keep doing it. Do I, come back? I'm always the guinea pig that finds the proper lines, finds the pit, finds the potholes, really? finds the the hazards. I'm pretty sure I found the line over there on the waterfall too. And that I wouldn't first, even try that time. my gladiator. Oh, because well, wheelbase. What was that? Wheelbase. You couldn't do that in your gladiator. Wheelbase. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, I'm taking the bypass. I'm, I'm not going to make that. There's no way. I want to give a shout out to Sean because on this trip, he just crossed 200,000 subscribers, and that's just freaking awesome. He deserves it because his channel is amazing and he's an amazing guy. So if you're watching my video and are not familiar with this, with the story till now and are not subscribed to Sean, do because his content is amazing. And just do it, Get go after this video, then, then go see his. All right, we made it to the overlook on Golden Spike. Wow. That's uh, Arches National Park in the distance. I don't know if you can see right right there is one of the big arches over there in the national park Whew. that's so cool i think you got the best parking spot yeah you want to switch so you can get a shot nah i'm good i'll just uh do a, a hue change and you know make make yours blue you gonna make it blue yeah for your video yeah photoshop it yep Add a little Ozark Overland Adventures logo on my door. I can just Photoshop a, a logo right there. Yeah. There goes Rob. Favorite trail? Yeah, this has been my favorite trail. Now my favorite like section probably would be over at Indian Creek, right there in that canyon. Yeah. But overall, the whole thing, absolutely. Just the obstacles, and then also the views and the difference in the terrain has yeah. been really, really cool. Like I love that waterfall area. Favorite that was spot. just way cool. Yeah, it's got it's got everything, and it's got challenging obstacles. Yeah. But not. Hurt your rig obstacles. And it had some flat areas where you can just kind of cruise. It's got yeah. This, yeah, it's so much fun. And I mean, those mountains with snow on them, I could look at that every day.
about to come up. Huh? You're about to come up on the driver's side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm looking for other ways down because that looks sketchy. I'm thinking maybe this spot right behind me. choosing a different line than Matt and Sean. We'll see. You're gonna drop on your passenger side. Now start turning into it. Turn passenger. There you go. One more passenger. A little more. There you go. Perfect. Front. There you go. There you go. Stay a little passenger. 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 There you go. Just ride that. There you go. Smooth. Well done, beloved. That's because... Alright. Little driver. Alright, the next thing we're coming up to is the uh, gold bar nice. rim view. Little driver. Come down real hard out here on your, your driver's side. That's a big drop. Little driver. Uh, yeah, you're good. All right, turn hard drive. A little more driver. There you go. Got it. Now, come straight. Come straight. Right there. Too much. There you go, right there. Hug that wall. It's going to be a big drop on this driver's side. You were looking good. Bumper. Woo, you're down. That's good. Good job, babe. That's a better line. Uh, I don't know about that. Definitely not Rob's line. Everything's yeah, okay. Everything is awesome. <laughs> well, that was my Pull least up, Rob, if you can. favorite part of the trail. It's just so sketchy there. That's definitely the the hardest obstacle, and it just it just feels wonky. I mean, we we man, I think we killed it. Thank you kindly. 
but that'll pucker you. Pretty sure I could poop a diamond now, getting everybody down. And we saved Rob's bumper because that's his wife's Jeep. He, he gotta, he gotta return that. Go straight. Turn a little passenger. Rob is currently blind. Yeah, I'll be your I'll be your son. Your sunshade. Yeah, your sunshade. I'll be your cloud. <laughs> yeah, you got it. There you go. Skirt that right there. Very good. Go straight. Easy peasy. Well done. Look at the train. Oh, Don. Robert, whoever that is. <laughs> that's that's uh, Robert. this but when I, grab my sandwich now, John. I get to places like this and just being able to do this see these types of things I, it just gets me I mean it just gets me all emotional it's just overwhelming how beautiful places are how small we are in the grand scheme of things Quite incredible. section but this spot driving down this lab is freaking awesome. 
This is the famous Golden Crack. It's not that difficult of an obstacle, but it sure is cool. Oh wow, that's bigger than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> that's a good scale there, having you down in that. Luckily this isn't where we have to cross. <laughs> How'd the crack feel? Crack. 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 Oh, he needs to get more flexy than that for the picture. No. S subscriber count. Sean, what are you doing? 200,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Awesome. Crossing the Congrats, crack. Congrats, bro. Well, that's the golden crack pretty uneventful but gosh we're here at golden hour and lots lots, lots of golden things it is stunning sean and kara are just chilling relaxing man this is, this is a really comfortable crack that's the that's the place to be the moon is right there that's great well, this has turned into a night ride, and we did not intend for it to be. Go back more, John. Uh, we expect it to be finished with dinner by now. You got it. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. It's, All right, you're good. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. Man, it's just it's a lot slower with seven rigs, three YouTubers. It's a lot more to get done. But now it's a night ride. Just two night rides in a row. Having fun. Gotcha. Yep, no passenger. There you go. Nice. And 
jealous of your rock lights now, though. <laughs> I got it. Good. Golden. Oh, this is stupid. Very, very stupid. The hardest part is finding the trail. Aha, there it is. Like that, that legit is the hardest part right now. Finding the trail. So it is 9.20 at night. It's been dark for a while. We've been night wheeling for a while. We've just come to the very last obstacle on this trail and it's called the waterfall and as far as I can tell it's a vertical cliff face Hey, come on back. For some reason you slipped over. Huh? You slipped over for some reason. Yeah, yeah that's it. Right there. Here's it. Um, you got to it up a little bit. There you go. All right. Now, now go. That's it. Perfect. Good job. Well, we're getting real close to the end. And just so you know, ever since it got dark, and we haven't been recording a whole lot, it's real pretty. Like, it's got some real cool stuff on it. I wish I could have shown you. But, you know, stuff happens. We did it. We did it. We completed the trifecta. It only took us 12 hours. 12 and a half hours. <laughs> Maybe close to 13 hours. I'm completely like mentally wiped. Exhausted. I just want to sleep. And I think that's what we're going to go do. So, um, by the way, guys, while we were on the trail, I passed 200,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for Congratulations. We're going to uh, we're gonna keep going. So if you're not already subscribed, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. And, uh, and Rob and I are on the way to a hundred thousand subscribers yeah so subscribe please, to these guys too. subscribe to yes. us too that, that's our goal for this year we're okay we're not as good as sean yeah it's okay right. you're better <laughs> that's where i was leading and yeah. dude <laughs> your jeep killed it yeah elizabeth's jeep. your wife elizabeth's jeep. Jeep. My yes. Wife, my jeep. yes it did <laughs> awesome a, yeah it hung in there I, i'm surprised how well it did heck these, yeah these rubicons yeah they, they do easy well easy so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this one yeah it was a long one, but it was a it was a great day. Uh, next video, Pritchett Canyon. Gonna do it again, and uh, it's gonna be a good one. Be sure and subscribe. Uh, be sure and give it a like. Uh, check out our Patreon, and for Zark Overland Adventures merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. See you next week. Bye.